Are we recording already? Wait. And action. Welcome to Lopez's Kitchen. Does anybody even have like scissors? Like even just scissors? Thank you. <sighs> Hi, this is Lopez from Made Continent Soy Milk. Today I will be teaching you some holiday recipes. <laughs> continuing our 8th continent holiday recipes and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a lactose free vegan friendly German chocolate cake. <laughs> You are going to want six ounces of dried apricots. You're going to soak them for a while so it can suck in some of that water and then you're going to dice them up. I've already diced them up over here and just a uh, tip, you know, have a really sharp knife because they're kind of difficult. They're a bit gummy, if you will. Also, you're going to want to add six ounces of water and you're going to throw this all in a blender and you're going to puree the water and apricot mixture. Okay, and now in a separate bowl, we are going to put in three tablespoons of egg replacer. One, two, three. And then we're going to put in three quarters cups of water and we are going to whisk that together until it turns really foamy. So now what you do is you get three cups of sugar and put it in the electric mixer bowl. You're going to add the egg replacer mixture and then you're also going to add the apricot puree and then you're going to electrically blend that until it turns light in color. So after you have mixed that until it's a nice light color, you mix, you sift together the flour, the cocoa, the baking powder, the salt, and the baking soda. So I just need to add in the rest of the cocoa. That is a lot of cocoa. Ah! Ah! And then you get that all mixed together and then you gradually add it to the apricot puree uh, ingredients in the electric mixer. Okay, so the next step is you get one and a half cups of eight continent original soy milk. You can also use the complete if you want to get the vitamins in there as well with the omega-3 and DHA and all that good stuff. And then you are going to add three teaspoons of distilled white vinegar. <gasps> I'll count that as two. And then one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you let that sit aside for 10 minutes so it can mix together and, you know, get along and play well with each other. Combine this, you're going to wait till it's nice and all blended together. You are going to uh, grease and flour three 11 inch by 2 inch pans, and you're going to want to distribute this batter evenly between each three ones because it's going to be a three layer German chocolate cake. You are then going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. Pull it out, let it cool, let's start working on the icing. Look at that awesome flavor and the chocolate cake is going to be really really rich because it is vegan and lactose free. You use the apricots mainly um, instead of eggs. Uh, you use a little bit of the egg replacer but usually you would have to use lots more eggs than this. 
So you put on the frosting, you kind of have it packed into the sides and packed on top, and then you cut up and you enjoy. Now if you don't like coconut or you don't like pecans, you can take those out and just use a regular frosting, but that kind of ruins the German chocolate cake. So there you go. Happy holidays, everyone.